All right, guys, welcome back to Gun Locker 75. We have a special gun here today, the Smith & Wesson 325 Performance Center in scandium aluminum. This thing is extremely light. It's in 45 ACP. Um, on the bottom here, you have where you can put a rail for a light. It's got fiber optic sights on it. Nice hold grip. We're going to go ahead and uh, give this a quick whirl in 45 ACP loaded with the moon clips where you can just drop them in. We'll show that here in a second. So what you're watching is the Smith & Wesson 325. Uh, I met a cool dude today at the range and he shot my vector and in return he let me shoot his Smith & Wesson 325. That gun was really nice. I've never shot one like that before. So I guess we'll uh, we'll start with the double action trigger. Wow, that's a uh, that's pretty that's decently light trigger for double action. Let's try a single now. Whoa! All right, that's a that's a touchy one. I wasn't ready for that. I think my issue with single action triggers, because you'll see me do it on another video, I have a uh, tan folio video coming up. Uh, by the time you see this, you you, uh, you probably haven't seen that yet. Um, I think I, I like to take up a lot of the creep first and then shoot. Well, I rarely, I don't, I don't shoot too many single action triggers. Um, and man, on some of those lighter ones, the Tanfolio on that one, I, there's really no creep. So I started to kind of do my normal habit and it was just like, boom. So first shot really caught me off guard. And then, you know, obviously you kind of know what you're dealing with after that. Holy cow. There we go. I, I literally hit both of those, not necessarily meaning to. I think that might be the last one. Yep. So we can uh, just drop out our, our moon and drop a new one right in. That is a very light single action trigger. We'll stay with double action now. It's just this gun is incredibly light. This is a carry gun. And I'm amazed at how light they are. I'm told that they're extremely expensive now. It like started off like maybe around uh, 12, 1300, but now good luck finding one under two grand. Uh, that guy uh, carries it outside the waistband, but covered up and uh, 45 ACP. And never really, not a huge revolver guy, but you know, after looking at that and us kind of having conversations about different calibers and all that, uh, that was, and he actually draw, you know, did a draw from his holster and put uh, six rounds on target quickly, all in double action. Obviously, you're not going to take the time to cock back the hammer. Kind of, uh, kind of interesting. I never really thought about a revolver for a primary. And then he keeps, you know, a couple moon clips in his pocket or whatever with another six to 12 rounds on top of that. And, you know, he can reload them pretty quickly. So I guess the moral of the story is it's something to think about out there. Maybe many of you do carry a revolver. If you do carry a revolver, leave it in the comments. Let me know what kind. I, um, 
I carried my SP-101 a little bit for a little while, but never really thought about a, a revolver as a primary uh, weapon. But after shooting that and how light it was and, um, you know, it kind of made me think. I, I, you never know. I may go that direction uh, and try it out for a while. I wouldn't mind getting one of those, to tell you the truth. Uh, I went on Gunbroker and, and he was right. I mean, they're they're up there in price. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys something unique real quick and hope that uh, you enjoyed this quick little video. Thanks for watching Gunlocker 75. See you in the next one.